Pashire. Lordship, that is Panipiche, the Auxiliary Bishop of Miao Diocese, Reverend Father John Kashipri, VG, Infal Archdiocese, Father Jos Kurvachera, Salishan Provincial, Province of Dimapur, Fathers, Sisters, Catechists, Church Elders, Women's Society Office Bearers, Youth and My Dear Faithful People of God. Today we have gathered here to join in the celebration of thanksgiving to God for the gift of priesthood to Deacon Adani Matthew SDB. With gratitude in the heart, I, on behalf of the parish of St. Mary's Punanamai Mao, would like to extend a warm welcome to His Lordship Denis Panipichai, Auxiliary Bishop, Miao Diocese. It is with great joy that we welcome you, your Lordship. Dear fathers, sisters, and my dear people, let us put our hands together and let us welcome His Lordship, Denis Panepichai. We extend our hearty welcome to Father John Kashipuri, the VG of Imphal Archdiocese. Dear Father Jos Kurvachera, the Salesian Provincial, Province of Dimapur, it gives us great joy to welcome you for the priestly ordination of Deacon Adani Matthew. We extend our, our warm welcome to all the fathers, sisters who have come from different places to join the celebration of God's call in the life of Deacon Adani Matthew. 
Dear fathers and sisters, welcome and do feel at home. On behalf of the parish community of St. Mary's Parish, Punanamai, I'm glad to welcome the executive members of MCA and MCWA for the priestly ordination of Deacon Adani Matthew. We are happy to welcome the delegates from different parishes and villages. They have come to join in the celebration of priesthood and to pray for Deacon Adani Matthew. Welcome, dear friends. Our hearts are warm and happy to welcome Deacon Adani Matthew, who is about to commit his life totally to God today. Dear Adani Matthew, welcome, and may God continue to walk with you. We are happy to welcome the parents and the brothers and sisters and the relatives of Deacon Adani Matthew. I also would like to extend my warm welcome to all the parishioners, catechists, church elders, women's societies, members, the youth, and to all you dear friends. Let us raise our minds and hearts, thanking the Lord for the gift of vocation he has given to Deacon Adani Matthew. To lead us in thanking the Lord, I now invite His Lordship, Dennis Panipichai, Auxiliary Bishop of Miao to lead us to the priestly ordination mass. This morning we are gathered around the altar of the Lord to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, during which we will witness the priestly ordination of our brother, Deacon Adani Matthew. The Lord in his goodness shares his priesthood with him. Therefore, it is our duty that we accompany him with our praise. Today, Saturday, we shall invoke the assistance of our Blessed Mother Mary, that she may continue to guide him in his journey as a priest and prepare him day by day to be with the Lord and the people that he will be interested with, so that he may be a beautiful instrument in leading them to God. As we begin this celebration, let's sincerely acknowledge our sins and failures as Lord for pardon and strength.
who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests. Grant a persevering obedience to your will to this deacon Adani Matthew of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by his ministry and life he may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Jar Kakur Krono Nino Jikolos Nile Ye Movumwe Topuno Niko Krokava Nile Ye Ni Ujukutu Kali No Lipeono Sapio Kole Lipeo Baleno Nisa Mamwe Kai Muvu Piru Kali Sotile Ye Ni Oramwe Baleno Muvu Piru Kali so dile li pao ti pese Tono nilei moleko mwe piliti lipeme vuti shono kola tu muheki so mani kapis so pilo ye kola tu kuku kajiono omwe heni so kuvuchi nile no shitilo kuhua ajupe kocho muvu pirers nilole hihi lipe ajupe se. Ye Isaya Pakuruchu Koso Laradus Fuy Fupie Funo Laradus Fupra Law Uchu Hikruhi Rihi Kotoni Law Nipe Orakos Avabwe Adesuno Dicho Ai Peno Okoka Jis Fok Kohomai Pemus Pie Kurudano Funo Avaki De Lavu Beauty Funo ai peno hokama yi fopra pyo kuru Ohe kache mai peno choho ni lo kuru Ye omai no soma jyo kale mai peno Chovo lo kuru chipe futu omai yi pyo te Pyo to Ye li peono ai jamaje pyo kuru Mupu sa pe futu omai yi mosi pyo kuru Duno ai mulu hie Ye puno laridus kopeto puto ovo koso yi piyo krobute. Ora achitoche le kubumai totu no fuyi kolaiti ti po bote. Sitesu puno fu kruma hiki. Jo ni kruma no choko lo vano achitio larit chuhi vutu lote. Adani Matthew Fosse, who is to be ordained priest, please come forward. Heba, Osom, and Fosse, the Delay to go away. Of which you can put him a shame of the Tomonet of the Sogapi Roman. Osher for two, Osher for two, 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 Rakuzuno, 
poi si è fatto più le persone non sono solo non so più poi però proprio che si è fatto più di sino o più o più o più di sino a te ci può vera o l'amo ho e per di questo se so o l'amo è giù se so a giù io non so io non so io ジェルメタルもうもそうですさ。それをもそもそうだ。シャビア、ビショップ、バイサボティとくれ。ちょっとだだだな。Presentation of the candidate. Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain this man, Adani Matthew, our brother, for service as priest. Judge him to be worthy. After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendation of those concerned with his training, I testify that he has been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and we choose this man, Adani Matthew, our brother, for priesthood in the Presbyterian order. Dear parents, Brothers and sisters of Deacon Adani Matthew, may the good Lord bless and reward you for this great and generous sacrifice. At the same time, it is your duty to continue to assist him with your praise that he may be truly resemble Christ, the Good Shepherd. In the opening prayer of the Mass, we prayed thus, Lord our God, you wanted to make use of the ministry of the priest to guide and govern your people. Grant that they may untiringly fulfill your will. Deacon Adani Matthew, understand the meaning of the prayer and do not forget that you have been called and chosen by God. You have been preparing for this great day through years of study personal prayer and reflection. Soon you will be raised to the order of priesthood. For your part, you will exercise the sacred duty of teaching in the name of Christ, the Good Shepherd. Meditating on the law of the Lord, see that you believe what you read and teach what you believe and that you practice what you teach. Today, the Spirit of the Lord will descend upon you and you will be anointed with the Holy Chrism, which will be for you strength and assistance to be able to sanctify the people of God and offer to God the Eucharistic sacrifice. You are called to act in a unique way in Persona Christi, especially in the Eucharist and in the sacraments. Acting in the person of Christ means that the priest can never put himself or his personal opinion at the center of his ministry. Never forget that Christ shares the gift of his priesthood with you to serve his people. Before you proceed to the order of the Presbyterian, declare before the people your intention to undertake this priestly office. Are we resolved with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the Presbyterian order as conscientious fellow worker with the bishop in caring for the Lord's flock? I am. Are you resolved to celebrate the mysteries of Christ faithfully and religiously as the Church has handed them down to us for the glory of God and the sanctification of Christ's people. I am. Are you resolved to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and explaining the Catholic faith? I am. 
Are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of his people and unite yourself more closely every day to Christ, the high priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a perfect sacrifice? I am with the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary and your religious superior? I do. May God, who has begun the work, good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. I do. That the all powerful Father may pour out the gifts of heaven on this servant, Adani Matthew, of his, whom he has chosen to be a priest. the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the grace and the power of the priesthood. In your sight, we offer this man for ordination. Support him with your unfailing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
to our help, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You are the source of honor and dignity, of all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of men by your gifts of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed high priests to rule your people, you chose other men to help them in rank and dignity, to be with them and to help them in their task. And so there grew up the ranks of priests and the officers of Levites established by the sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to provide worthy priests in sufficient number for the increasing rites of sacrifice and worship. With the same loving care, you gave companions to your son's apostles to help in teaching the faith. They preached the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant to us as such fellow workers, for we are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to this servant, Adani Matthew, of yours the dignity of the priesthood. Renew within him the spirit of holiness. As co-worker with the order of bishops, may he be faithful to the ministry that he receives from you, Lord God, and be to others a model of right conduct. May he be faithful in working with the order of bishops so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth and the family of nations made one in Christ may become God's one holy people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. Yeah, this is Bishop no Father Bishop, yeah, Father Kaul. Father, then it's in the mess, no. Go, what's the snow called line? So, last of the beer blade, it's a mumbaker lily, Chapano Mumu Mumuka Pik is so a bit at the least so pure. I know it's you, Papa Mosomo, or the snow, some molecular preachers beer blade.
number 10. Leaflet number 10. that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people. Grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and to strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Remember, Lord, your servant, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessed Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles, the martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help to Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, 
all our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. servants who have gone before us through the sign of faith and rest in the deep of sleep of peace. To us also your servants who though sinners hope in your abandoned mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with Saint John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas and all your saints Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, and bless them, and bestow them upon us. And with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have been away with. For the sake of the Lord, you may so much love you. Thank you for your payment of the Lord. 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 Ya, Father Mino, tatali buhin of buah dah ini komunin jubile, dano, cuma dia lain lain sotor bila komunin of jubile kerana.
praise and all your servants that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who founded the church and guides us still, protect you constantly with his grace that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. Amen. May he make you a servant and a witness in the world to divine charity and truth and a faithful minister of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you a true shepherd to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Volunteers, my Gusturuba, stage pay prana, Choki Puta, Alain Dai Guadio, with a facilitation program for Tokama Sotara Play. Nearly ordained priest Matthew Adani, parents, family members, and relations of the new priest, dear Father Parish Priest, assistant parish priests, sisters, fathers, brothers, parish community members, village elders, and various parish organizations and the well-wishers and friends of the new priest. In the first place, I would like to congratulate the new priest, Matthew Adani, as the Salishan Provincial of Dimapur, and also in the name of all the confreres of the province of Dimapur. We are very happy that today you are ordained to be a priest, and now your mission is to take forward the great commission that the Lord has given us, go, preach, baptize, make disciples of all nations. Dear Father Matthew, the new priest, today you are ordained a priest by the laying on of hands of Bishop Dennis Penipachai. Priesthood is a grace, a great grace, and also a responsibility. 
a great responsibility. Priesthood is a call to be a more authentic way of living the Christian life and to be a minister of the word and the sacraments. As a priest, you are to be a good shepherd to the people through your charity, spirit of sacrifice, and your holiness of life. And I wish and pray that you may find your priesthood a joyful one with the grace of God and the help of Mary, help of Christians. Dear Bishop Dennis, I thank you for having agreed to come here to ordain our deacon, Matthew Dani. You have made a long journey from Miao in Arunachal Pradesh to Mao Gate in Manipur. Thank you for your availability, your kindness, and your helpfulness to us. We offer your prayers for your ministry as the Auxiliary Bishop of Miao, and may God bless you abundantly. Dear parents of the new priest, Thank you, thank you for giving your son to the church and to the Salishan congregation. Thank you for accompanying him in his journey to priesthood with your prayers, support, encouragement, and affection. May God reward your generosity. And finally, dear parish priest, assistant parish priests, Parish community, women, men, and young youth organizations, village elders, and all those responsible for organizing today's program. Thank you for your sacrifice and your hospitality. May God bless you all. Thank you.
red letter for the Mao Catholic community as we received the 34th praise from our community. It is a proud moment for the entire Mao Catholic community in general and Christ the King Church Mao Gate in particular. As St. John Bosco says, a priest is God's greatest gift to a family. In your receiving God's call and your, sis and your sincere and wholehearted response, we are all blessed. We rejoice and celebrate with you today. A sincere word of gratitude to the parents, <coughs> brothers, sisters, teachers, benefactors, formators, superiors, and all who helped him to reach the altar of the Lord. <coughs> Thank you for the sacrifices and praise prayers you offered which enabled him to be what he is today. Few words to the newly, newly ordained priests. As a priest, you live no longer for yourself, but for God and his people. You are a marked man. It is the cross that you have willingly accepted, the cross which gives your life a serious character, but which will make you strong. Whatever difficulties and droughts you may encounter, whatever challenges await you, you are assured of never failing help and support, the assistance of God's grace. Be sure that you are never alone. Always remember, ordination is just for a day, whereas priesthood is for life. We are with you with our humble prayers and good wishes. The greatest and most fulfilling life you could possibly imagine now begins. Stay connected to Christ and his gospel as you venture each day to live your ordination motto. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 1.21 May your day of consecration to the Lord inspire many young boys and girls to courageously come forward to serve the Lord in the priestly and religious life. Once again, our heartiest congratulations to you, dear loving Father Adani Mathieu Fosé SDB, and God's blessings. Kaloi. This will be carried by uh, Father Parish Priest alone. <laughs> Next, we have presentation from Christ the King Church CS. Sorry, from the from Christ the King Church Malgate. Firstly, may I invite your Lordship, Most Reverend Father Dennis Pani Pichai, SDB, Auxiliary Bishop of Miao, for gracing the occasion of the priestly ordination of Father Matthew Adani Fuzi, and also for his first visit after being ordained the Auxiliary Bishop of Mio. So may I invite your Lordship on stage.
by your valuable and prayerful presence on this beautiful and memorable day. I stand here on behalf of my family members to say thank you. You have shown your love to me by your constant support through your humble prayers and sacrificing your precious time for the successful and meaningful completion of my priestly ordination. Thank you everyone for the trouble you have taken from far and near to witness my priestly ordination and praying for me. I am profoundly grateful to His Lordship, Denis Panipechai SDB, DD, Auxiliary Bishop of Mio Diocese, for ordaining me as a priest of Christ Jesus. I thank my provincial Father Jose SDB for having accepted me to the Salesian congregation as I am. I sincerely thank my provincial economer, Father Nebu Matthew, for his presence. I would like to acknowledge my sincere thanks to my novice master, Father M.P. Thomas, though he is not present here, spiritual directors, rectors, professors, teachers, and other fathers and sisters for their contributions. I thank my past and present superiors for molding me and shaping my life to follow Jesus Christ more closely in the footsteps of the Bosco. And others who are in one way or the other being instrumental to me. I also express my heartfelt thanks to my benefactor, Uncle Daniel and his family members for their help and support through prayers. And even like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels start rolling years and months ago. With a deep sense of love and gratitude to my parish priest, Father Teotimos Lakra SDB, under whose able leadership the priestly ordination ceremony and the celebration went on smoothly. And the collaborators, Father Tarakan Matthew SDB, Father Kaikra Anthony SDB, and Father Koli George SDB. I am grateful to Sister Glory, the superior and community members of Carmel Home Punanome for their beautiful altar decorations and assisting the liturgical celebrations and other sisters of CMC. I thank the local nuns and brothers for their prayerful and meaningful songs of the saints. At this juncture, without mentioning them, the day would not have happened. I thank the ordination committee for their hard work and selfless service. I am indebted to the kitchen department for the food in anticipation, hall arrangement in charges, stays in charges, vehicle transportations, sound system, photographers, water in charges, and CYO for their beautiful decorations. The melodious choir team of Sir Elohim Bernard echoes to the hills and mountains of the region. I thank all the parishioners, catechists, parish council and parish women's society, MCA, MCWA, youth presidents of various village churches, solution cooperators, Mao Unit, sisters, SDCYO, SISO, Naldo Rubicon Club, Striven Club, Asam Rifals, Master of Ceremony during the liturgical celebration, Father Ashley SJ, and during the felicitation program, Photo Kopol and Ashipro. And the beautiful singing of the Sunday school children and the women. Once again, thank you to one and all who worked silently without the notice of the family members and extended their helping hand generously. 
Finally, I cannot thank everyone enough for your enormous cooperation and meticulous planning, your humble prayers and contributions in many ways. Thank you. Let us pray. Bofo, you know, for to you know, go to the list now. Amen. So only to fill to the list of our family. A crummy four. Near Galway, then near Shue. You know, a crummy list show. We call it, call it, so much to be. You know, pay me, call it, call it, but no book, which you choose so well. Johan of Choko to any new crum of Bobby or crum bano. The judge too took a cali, Catello, and also a deli no. If all as such is to cali. Yea, Nicola, people, 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 so much locally, Capitone, Bello Shue. The judge to me, a crumming, a crumble clay no. You know, the gapa, and a photo calico dolo. A Danny Matthew, for a panel, you couldn't go so low. For the law, Krumi Moso Honzeno, for a year or two, Pekka Pidu, Nikaloi, near Shue, or Felvo Krumi, Ta Krumi, Selekai, Christian Selekai, local church, Liu Krumi, Ako, Amimo, John Jugo, Amimo, your church, Lino, Ako, my chick, a Pelino, or Abo, so many dog. You couldn't go so good, Krumi does not only crowd those pay people, they do well. เอ่อพวกคนที่ทุบเว้ยนี่ก็รู้สึกเป็นพวกเว้ยดิสอะไรอะคุณมันอะมาเลยจ้ะนี่น่ะคุณมีเลยสิพี่อะคุณมีสุ